Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20th of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Today we have Stone Game 2. I'm just looking at it from the URL. I don't know what the problem is, though. Uh, so, yeah, so 1140, Stone Game 2. So, today, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alice and Bob continue on their games. Uh, th that's not even what the words say. What is going on with me? Alice and Bob continue their games with a pile of stones. The number of piles arranged in a row, and each pile has a positive and do, 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 end with the most stones. Okay. They take turns. M is equal to 1. That player may take all stones in the first X pile, where, um, and then M is equal to. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this just becomes min max, right? There's at most 100 piles, and I think M can only go up to 100, so then you just set M, right? Or even if it goes higher than 100, it doesn't matter, right? Because effectively, you only have one turn of doing that anyway. So, yeah. Uh, so then the number of states is going to be N square, and then. And each of them, you can just take do a for loop there, and that's going to be n cube, right? Um, so I think that would be fast enough with a hundred cube. Um, I know that I, I went really fast, but I'm just kind of the first thing you should do when you have an idea is just make sure that it is fast enough, right? Because if it's too slow, it doesn't matter if it's right, it doesn't matter whatever. And even if my idea is wrong, um, you know, at least it will be fast enough. So uh, you know, otherwise it's still like if it's if n is a thousand, then it's too slow. I don't even have to think about whether it is the correctness, right? So okay, so yeah, so basically here um, in game theory, there's a thing called minimax. Uh, basically, the idea here is in a greedy kind of way. I mean, you should definitely uh, read more about it if you haven't, uh, if you're not super familiar with it. I'm sure there are a lot of good YouTube videos on it. It's a very basic concept, but the idea here in, in a greedy way is that in order to maximize you know, you play optimally um, to win, you would, um, in games, particularly in this one, where you have to beat the other person, um, you're basically minimizing their score while maximizing yours, right? And that's pretty much it. And, yeah. Uh, and one thing to kind of keep note about this one is that um, I think there are a lot of ways you can represent the data. You 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 may see some people like if you're re reading code. Um, you may see people just skip ahead a little bit on um, <clears throat> uh, skipping ahead a little bit. But um, yeah, I guess it. I guess it doesn't really matter. But they're all really the same number of things because the maximum we can we can actually. Um, do it a little bit true to the problem, which is just the maximum number of stones that Alice can have. So let's actually focus on that. I know that in game theory, there's stuff about Delta, but but they're all really related, right? Because because um, at the, the game ends when when um, when all the powers are done. So that means that the total is going to be a set fixed total, and so um, Alice um, the maximum that Alice can pick up. It's just equal to minimizing the number that Bob can pick up, and of course the delta is just you know a minus b or something, or Alice minus Bob, right? Something like this. So yeah, so we don't even need technically minimax. Um, we can just um, you know just search for all the cases. So we can. No, hmm. No, you definitely need minimax, because um, I think as we said, um, total is, is the same, right? It's gonna be, the sum is gonna be total. But the thing is that the tricky thing to, to notice about problems like this is that you want to make sure that your locally optimal solutions um, generalizes to a bigger or, or you know bigger sub or not sub problems, I guess bigger part super problems uh generalizes to super problems right um because uh, and if you just kind of if you just maximize the number that alice can pick up that might not be good enough because uh 
because you may may uh, get stuck in local minimas where uh, or local maximas where you locally pick the most but you give Bob the most to pick up right we can play around with that I think that is correct but we can definitely play around with with um, with this idea so okay so yeah so then now we have um, we have the state right which is um, get max maybe uh, we have uh, I like it a little bit by font syntax yeah, whatever. Um, so we have so we can always tick in the first power so we have just like index which is maybe you can index is just a very generic thing but you can also think index is the the first pile that can be picked taken that can be picked um, but you can also think of it as as another way to uh, equivalent way of thinking about it is that index powers have been picked right yeah that, which is the magic of zero indexing by the way uh, okay so then now you have M right which is what it sounds like and then I think that's good enough for us to kind of get started Right. Okay. And then now we have n is equal to length of piles. Um, we can say, yeah. So if index is equal to n, then we return zero because we're done. There are no more piles. And then now we can just brute force this x that's in here. Uh, I'm gonna call it i though because I don't know. Uh, 2 times m plus 1, right? Uh, from 1 to 2 times m plus 1. Um, it, maybe, you know, uh, stone's taken. Take, take in stone, right? Uh, then you add it to... Uh, and of course, you can also use prefix sum on this, but it's not as necessary because you're doing this loop anyway, so it doesn't change anything. So then now, uh, if you go up to here, then now we have, um, what, what does that look like, right? So best is you go to negative infinity. And I'm going to uh, do it a different way first to show you kind of the illustration. So I'm well aware of what I'm doing, just to be clear. But uh, yeah, and then now uh, we get max, we have, so we take in i number of piles, so that means that we, oh, this is not piles of i, it is mm, index plus i minus 1, right? It's a little bit, maybe I should just from, start from 0, but yeah. But I want to kind of match this with this x, so yeah. Uh, and then here, now the new index is going to be index plus i. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's the next index that we can do. And then m is just going to be max of m and x, which is i, right? And then uh, plus taken, because that's the score that we get. Um, <clears throat> mm. How do you do it the incorrect way? I'm trying to think how to do it the incorrect way. That's why I'm like a little bit awkward, honestly. Because uh, I forget that like... Uh, maybe you can't. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I just don't know how to do it the incorrect way. But the idea here now then, right, is that... What, what does this mean? Well, now, well, one one thing to the first thing, uh, uh, one of the things to notice is that this is a symmetric game. And what does a symmetric game mean? Right? It just means that uh, Alice and Bob has the same game, right? Like Alice goes first, but otherwise they they all have the same rule set, so we don't have to implement anything differently. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess it is just going to be minimax, but ooh, oops, minimax. So what we want to do is that this is the score that our current player has. But we also want to minimize the score that the other player has. And this is the score that, this is the function that maximizes the score of the current player. Uh, but if it's the next player, we want to minimize it, which is how you get something like negative. So then now you have best of ne uh, best negative, duh, 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 taken. 
Um, and then yeah, and then we just return best as a result. And that's really pretty much it. I, I was trying to do it the incorrect way, but I don't even know how to do it incorrectly, honestly. So, yeah. Uh, and as as we what, what is M start up with M is equal to one. Um, and I think one thing that we can uh, well, let's just kind of give it a spin just to make see if it it should, with five things it shouldn't run out. Oh, I forgot to make sure that this bound is obviously. Um, yeah, if index plus one uh, is uh, minus one is greater than or equal to n, then we break right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's certainly very wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I, I forget. Uh, this is uh, because I was trying to do it the wrong way, but then I just confused myself. But this is what you return now, though, is the delta score between your score and their score, right? This is actually get max delta. Um, so yeah, so max delta is equal to this, um, and total is equal to sum of piles, as we know. So then now, uh, so then you could just do like a uh, or. Uh, a plus B is equal to total, right? Where A is Alice, Bob, uh, B is Bob. A minus B is equal to max delta. And then you just kind of add the two formulas. You have two times A is equal to, to total plus max delta. And then, of course, Alice's uh, best score is going to be A over, you know, this over two, right? So that's basically the, the thing. Um, do, 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 do. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much the idea. I'll leave that up here. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just minimax. I, I thought I could come up with like a wrong way of doing it to kind of be more illustrative, but I don't think I could even write the dynamic programming that way because you, you have to make some assumptions about how they do it, which is kind of awkward without retaining stay. <coughs> <coughs> and I, I would say that I do know that a lot of this looks like magic, but but uh, it is very basic application of Minax, so that's why I haven't really been able to go deeply into it. But the idea here is just that you want to minimize your opponent's score, and this is your opponent's score given the new states, right? Um, there are a couple of things that I want to do here as well, right? So, uh, for example, um, maybe we write new m is equal to max mi. Um, but the new M we want it to just equal to, I don't know, let's just say, um, let's just say a minimum of this and A N so that we don't go overboard. You can actually do the math so that we get the minimum M such that you can still hit up everything. But, you know, I think this is good enough. Uh, yeah. And of course, in general, this is memorization, right? Uh, index can go from 0 to 100. Uh, M can go from also, well, just 1 to, I guess 1 to, to a lot, but we cap at 100, right, because of this thing. Because over, I mean, even 50, we could probably cap, right, because um, 2 times M doesn't mean anything. So maybe you could even write like N over 2 or something like this, um, right? Because it, it, we could cap at 50, so that because it's 2 times m here, so it would never go out of bounds anyway. Or like, you would always be able to reach the end, right? Um, so that's not, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, so this is going to be n times m number of states, each of them doing all of m loops, or 2 of m loops, but all of m loops. So this is going to be n times m times m is... Um, and m at most is n over 2, so then you just have like n cubed over 4 or whatever. You could probably uh, create a tighter bound, but yeah, uh, uh, that's good enough for us to go. Uh, but yeah, but we have to actually memorize, so let's do it. Uh, I think we have this as n over 2. Uh, the plus 1 is so that we round up, in case you're wondering. Uh, so that we don't worry about, um, I don't know, off by one or whatever. Or like, if it's odd, then, you know, you go up so you don't have to worry about it. And it, it's okay to go overboard, right? So, um, and I mean that as in, like, we have this if statement that will take care of things for us. So we'll, we won't go out of bounds anyway. 
หลังจากไหนแอนเนี่ยแอนด์ the way that I write this is just um uh it's uh, sorry I can't type and say things at the same time but the idea here is that uh, for memorization as I always say uh the function will always give you the same answer if you give it the same input that so why not just store it somewhere so that future users have it down that's That's basically the gist of memorization, and that's all I have for this one. Let's actually give a submit, though. Then maybe that's all I have. But I did it in C five years ago now, and not even just saying almost five years. This is more than five years ago. Five years and two weeks in C. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is I probably just wrote the same thing, really. Um, yeah, uh, which is also uh, nonsense, craziness, crazy craziness. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me, why is this faster than my current code that I do? I mean, pretty much wrote the same thing. Huh, even back then in 2020, I wrote the same style pretty much. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Meh. But yeah, th uh, this is going to be O of N cube, and that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.